So the first box office weekend for the Eternals is in the books. Some people are saying the movie did well. Some people are saying the movie is a failure. I want to take a real close look at these numbers and see just what's really going on here. The Rotten Tomatoes, of course, still changing. Audience score is coming down a little bit. Some people are talking about the movie being positively review bombed. I don't know if that's true or not. I'm not going to be shocked if people actually liked this movie. It's a Marvel movie. People will take whatever Marvel gives them and love it. This, by all accounts, is probably the most mundane Marvel movie since Thor The Dark World. I don't think this is a good movie. But, you know, I, I think the Marvel stands will take whatever is given to them and love it. Eventually, though, this is going to translate to low low box office for them because you can only put out so many bad movies in a row before people turn on. They're lucky they're taking that year off actually, because people will forget and it's going to prolong things for them. But anyway, as you can see for now, once again, critics are at least proven wrong. They gave it a, a low score. Audiences liked it. And the movie, in my opinion, did pretty good at the box office. I think 71 million is decent for an opening of a movie right now, even though Venom kicked its ass. Venom, don't forget, debuted with $90 million for its first opening weekend. This movie comes out with 70, which is kind of pathetic. Kind of pathetic when you consider that, you know, this is a Marvel movie. This is official MCU. It should, it should have been much higher. But this movie's a tough sale. First off, you got like all of the messaging and the marketing is talking about how pretty much woke the movie is. And it's like, okay, this I don't know if this is gonna have the strong sales output that you think it's going to have, but whatever. You got stuff like this. Uh, Brian Tree Henry thought, I'm I'm gonna have to lose weight to play a superhero. And the director says, nah, we want you just how you are. Because, well, anybody can be a superhero now. So, you know, it's not what he looks like. It's his size. I, 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 superheroes should be fit. That's my opinion. And I, I think a lot of people share it. Superheroes should be like the perfection of humanity and looks. They should be chiseled, muscular, and fit. But what I, I, you know, anybody can do it now. So uh, the Eternals, yeah, everybody can see themselves. So here's the, here's the thing with this movie. The movie's global box office was actually pretty good. Globally, the new entry in the Marvel Cinematic Universe tallied 161.7 million. The second highest global weekend by a motion picture association film in 2021. A lot of people are ignoring the global number, and I don't know why. Like that number does matter. That number is what will get a movie a sequel. Remember that awful World of Warcraft movie? I think it got, didn't it get a sequel in China or something. Like they were going to give it a sequel because of the fact that it did good in China. I know that's what they did with Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim got a sequel purely on the fact that it did well in China. So just because something didn't do good here doesn't mean that it's a failure. 161.7 million is a damn good number. The the global box office matters. That's how movies like when we tell oh this movie made a billion dollars, it's because of the global market. You can't make a billion dollars domestically. You can, but it's it's really hard to do. I think uh, the Joker made a lot of money. Well, the Joker made a lot of money by not even going through, like they didn't release it in China, right? But it can be done, but it's awfully hard. In my opinion, the movie did good with 161, 161.7 million is a high number. So globally, altogether, the movie, in my opinion, was a success. Now, this isn't going to last. Next weekend, Right, they're gonna pull in a little bit of money. I think it's gonna have a huge drop off because the word of mouth for this movie 
isn't going to be that great. So you're going to have a huge drop off next weekend. And then the weekend after that, Ghostbusters Afterlife hits. That movie is going to crush this movie. Okay. That movie has the potential to make a lot of money. I don't know if it'll make a billion, but I get I bet you to get damn close. And it's going to do a really good domestically. It's going to be a huge domestic opening. It's going to be fun because everyone's going to be whining about, oh, <laughs> I didn't like the female Ghostbusters. They, they turned up for this one. Even though it has female Ghostbusters. <laughs> I can't wait for that movie to come out. I'm really excited for it. Unlike this movie, which I could give a shit about, honestly. I could care less about Eternals, and I don't think I'm the only one, which is why the domestic box office was pretty low. I think that this is the number for pure Marvel stannery, 71 million. So that's their guaranteed number for any movie, I think, because this is right around with Black Widow and Shang-Chi. This is pretty close to what they made, a little bit under, but for the most part, I think this is your pure Marvel stand number, and that's it. I think maybe if we didn't have all the fear mongering with the coof, it'd be a little bit higher. But for the most part, I think this is it. So to get the general public more excited for your shit, I don't know. I don't know how you do it. Maybe you make something good. That's a thought. Uh, here are some of the headlines. Eternals buries Dune and the rest of the competition at the weekend box office. What competition? Your competition was Dune, which by all accounts is a much better movie. A much better movie. It's a shame. Trash beats the good movie out. And this movie, just, this whole color palette just looks awful. Their costumes look awful. Nothing about this movie is, is sexy. Why Eternals is a box office disappointment for the blockbuster MCU. It's true, at least domestically, but I think the global number is good. I think the global number is good. Here's a more proper headline. Marvel Eternals racks up 161.7 million. So, I don't know. I think it's funny. I just closed that video. They were saying, this variety was saying that the reason it's getting so poorly reviewed is because of uh, critics. They don't like a, a woman director, which is not true. All kinds of shenanigans going on. It's funny watching them eat their own. I always get enjoyment out of that. But uh, as of now, Eternals slightly a success. I don't know if it breaks even. People are kicking around the number 500 million to break even. I don't know if it makes that. I think it can get close. But as soon as Ghostbusters comes out, who the hell is going to want to see this? So I don't know. I don't know if it. I don't know if this movie breaks even. We'll see. We'll see. I hope it doesn't. I hope it fails. Because I'm just tired of Marvel. Anyway, that's it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you still subscribe. Hit that notification bell. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. They're usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.